MEMS, other known as microelectrical mechanical systems, are tiny machines, usually built onto silicon wafers. The electronics are fabricated in the same manner as semiconductors, however, the micromechanical components are typically micro machined. The components which are found in a MEMS device can be as small as a few microns in diameter and can only be seen under a microscope. MEMS devices are possible today due to advances in photolithographic techniques as well as etching, electro discharge machining and other manufacturing techniques. Here you can see the proof of mass, plate, hinges, restrictor, pyramid, pad, flexure and capacitance fingers that make up the gyroscope. Inside each device, there are microscopic mechanical elements that move along with the external forces. For example, in this gyroscope, we have the inertial moment around the vertical axis. The mechanical deflections are picked up by active and passive electrical components. From these components, mechanical forces are converted into electrical information, such as voltages and currents. After an analog to digital converter, digital processing can be employed. A MEMS gyroscope can be used to measure and maintain the orientation of an object. As this robot's actuator causes it to move, it may lose stability. The MEMS gyroscope can sense the changes in angular momentum and feed this information back to the microcontroller, which will make the necessary adjustments. MEMS gyroscopes are typically implemented by vibrating structures, such as a wine glass resonator, a vibrating wheel, or a tuning fork resonator. By integrating microelectronics and micromechanical systems together, we eliminate the inefficiencies involved in bridging separate systems. As the batch fabrication manufacturing process is streamlined, MEMS devices will become more inexpensive. Furthermore, the mechanical forces are spread out among numerous components, thus any deformity caused by prolonged use is minimal. Hence, microelectrical mechanical systems are more reliable than the larger counterparts. Lastly, the small and lightweight nature of MEMS devices are highly desired characteristic in mobile handheld portable devices. In another application, MEMS gyroscopes can be found in this Wii controller. The controller is able to track the movement of the gamer. This provides a more interactive and fluid gaming experience. In digital cameras, MEMS gyroscopes have been used to determine the picture orientation whether it is in landscape or portrait. In addition, effective image stabilization techniques are possible today due to dual-axis gyroscopes. Another application of a MEMS device can be found in one of the world's best-selling smartphones. An accelerometer can be found inside every iPhone. An accelerometer is one of the most simplistic MEMS devices as it consists of a fixed cantilever beam and a seismic mass. Deflection caused by the gravitational forces on the seismic mass can be measured. As the user tilts the iPhone, the phone can get information regarding its orientation. In this example, the application determines the velocity of which a marble will travel in a virtual 3D maze full of traps. MEMS accelerometers can also be used to measure the overall dynamic body acceleration in wild animals. In addition, as a pedometer to find out the distance and speed of which a sprinter runs at. Lastly, MEMS accelerometers sense collisions on board motorized vehicles to activate airbag deployment systems. 